Hello. This video is a part of Web Scraper blog series project of data transformation with OpenRefine. After you've installed OpenRefine on your computer, launch it. To create a project, click on the Create Project section on the left-hand side. Click on Browse and select the data file you'll be using for the project. To access the example data file, please follow the link in the description down below. Now click Next. A data importing configuration log will pop up. Here you can see the preview of the data and you can make any changes to it if necessary. If you're using the example data, make sure that the box that indicates that your data is separated by commas is ticked. This is also the part where you can rename your project as well as add any tags to it for future references. Now that this is done, click Create Project. The layout is quite simple. Every column has a triangle at the heading, which opens up a menu of various changes that can be applied to the specific column. On the left-hand side, there are two sections, Facets Filters and Undo Redo. Faceting is a feature that allows the user to group the values that are in the column and enables the user to filter through and edit the values across various cells simultaneously. However, the undo redo function works as a time machine for implemented changes. Whenever you make a change to your data, it logs it in this section, and whenever you find it necessary to go back to the data without a specific change, you select it from this log menu. Since we are going to be working with a huge amount of data, if necessary, you can roam through the record pages by clicking the pagination links on the upper right-hand side. To start our journey of data transformation with OpenRefine, we are going to check if there are not any inconsistencies in our data. We're going to begin by looking at our product ID column, which is the unique identifier column of our data. Click on the column, go to Facet, and click Numeric Facet. Now, as it shows, there are no numeric values present. To change that, you select the column again, go to Common Transformations, and click on To Number. The facet log of product ID now shows that there are two non-numeric values in our data. Let us see what those are by unticking the numeric box of the facet log. These blank entries with very different ID numbers do not contribute to the whole data. We are going to delete these. To do that on the All column, select Edit Rows and click on Remove Matching Rows. Great, now to see the whole data, just close the facet log. That's it. We have now removed two blank, non-consistent entries. Now our data is a bit cleaner. To continue, we are going to examine if there are any duplicate records in our data. First, we have to sort the product ID column. Select the column and apply the sort function. Select sort cells values as numbers and press OK. Since the sort function works as a filter, it is necessary to make it permanent for duplicate removal detection and for the removal to be successful. Therefore, select Sort on the upper toolbar and click on Reorder Rows Permanently. The next step is to blank down the column data. This can be done by selecting the column, going over to Edit Cells, and clicking on Blank Down. Blank Down will detect if two rows following each other have the same value. If so, then the second row will be blanked out. Now that we have done that, we have to create a customized facet. Select the column again, go to Facet, Customize Facets, and click on Facet by Blank. As we can observe in the Facet log, there are quite a lot of duplicate entries in our data. To delete them, select True, then hover to the All column, Edit Rows, and click on Remove Matching Rows. Let's click Close on the facet log. There is a duplicate indicator left. To remove it, we flag it. Then select the column All, Create a Facet by Flag. Click on True and go back to the All column, Edit Rows, and click on the Remove Matching Row. Close the facet log once again. We have removed some blank, inconsistent data and quite the amount of duplicates. 
This is all for this tutorial video. Thank you.